Uh, we started a program this year emphasizing academic conversations in the classroom where we were really looking to build literacy skills in students um, through their talk, through their academic talk in the classroom. After months of skill building and explicit instruction in how to have, sustain, generate a conversation, um, working really explicitly with vocabulary instruction and grammar, um, students reach a point where they're able to sustain a 60-minute conversation on their own without an instructor. In Death of a Salesman, um, Willie, he just wants to be able to support his family. But it's really interesting to hear different points of view and the question changes. So someone could be like, oh, I totally agree with that. Or be like, wait, what? You think that? Like, and then you could get into a really deep conversation that really helps uh, the engagement and understanding of the class. Everything comes into play when it's talking about the American dream. I mean, we're trying to find out what we think is the one reason, but that's like saying like, what's the one kind of fruit, you know? Like, you can't say that. This type of active discussion is what our students will encounter when they move into college. So this type of skill building is going to allow them to hit the ground running in the college classroom. So you really have to like put yourself out of push yourself out of your comfort zone to like really think about like those ideas that you have and that you've been holding back and you kind of just like have to like put out there to really make things go. And there's like so many different factors as well, like race, gender, um, and all those things can like really like affect the American dream from person to person. I was a facilitator, so I, my job was like to ask questions to someone directly if I noticed they weren't like talking or if there was a gap, um, I could like try to bring people in. Um, so do you guys think in your books that mo the motivation was worth it? To add a kinesthetic component to our vocabulary acquisition around the skills that we're using when we have good conversations, um, we pair hand gestures with those core skills. Uh, build upon and then paraphrase and then summarize and all of them really get you into the conversation. I kind of build on what you said. Um, so in my book, Drown, I think you also mentioned uh, in Death of a Salesman, even though he works really hard, he still can't really achieve it. In today's conversation, students uh, used placemats that they had created in the lead up to the conversation that would provide them with sentence frames and cues and supports for the points that they knew they wanted to make. It's not always easy for me to join an English conversation. Um, Willie is trying his best to support his whole family. So the preparing um, helps me to understand more about the sentence we are talking about and especially the vocab and the deeper meaning of the sentence. In order to be successful in an academic setting, but just in life in general, you need to be a strong collaborator. And explicitly teaching these conversation skills allows us to teach kids how to have good conversations, form good relationships, and really work together and collaborate with one another. And like, sort of move on. I agree with that. Um...